Israel has long denied conducting nuclear activities in the Dinoma reactor, but today it can no longer do so because Israeli citizens who have been harmed by it are speaking out. Israeli Channel 2 yesterday broadcasted a report showing the risks that the residents living in nearby areas are exposed to due to nuclear leaks. In addition, some parts of the Dimona nuclear reactor are no longer safe due to its old age. The Israeli Dimona nuclear reactor, which is surrounded by tight security, is located in the middle of the Negev desert, out of public view. It was built with French support 50 years ago and it has been operating for 44 years. This reactor, which was once considered the most important installation for protecting the Hebrew state, is now posing what the Israeli Channel 2 calls a strategic danger due to its old age. The cracks in the reactor's wall have transformed it into a possible source of human catastrophe that could kill hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. The accidents have increased as the reactor has gotten older because the structure is deteriorating. Most other countries close their nuclear reactors when they reach this age. The head of the Nuclear Safety Committee, Zvi Kamal, said that the reactor might be dangerous. This confession proves what was published in earlier reports about the risks of the Demona reactor. The reactor is too old, its walls have weakened, and its foundations could crack and collapse. If this should happen, it would lead to a huge nuclear catastrophe. Although some parts of the reactor have been replaced, there is an ongoing, serious debate about shutting it down before it's too late. Nuclear experts believe that nuclear leaks have caused many cases of cancer amongst the people who work in the nuclear power plant and those who live in nearby areas. Many instances of death that happened in and around this reactor have gone unexplained in the past. Why does the defense ministry give me this medication and not to Israelis who live far away from the reactor? The reactor today is safer than it used to be in previous years. The reactor was built to maintain Israel's strategic power in the region, but due to Israeli negligence it has been transformed into an imminent danger that threatens the Hebrew state and the region. This poses the question of whether or not the Israeli nuclear program should be subjected to international inspections. Rima Mustafa Al-Arabiya, West Jerusalem.